is up gamers it's your average joe with average joe raids today we are going to take a look at a eurogrim dragon 20 solo build if you're new here if you've been here before hit the subscribe button you can always change your mind later now this might not be a build that is achievable by everyone however i do think that it is a good build to go over because I've had Yurgrim for a while and I've known that he can solo dragon, but I've never really set him up for it. And so I have taken a video by another creator. Um, this is Tyroku. Um, and let me find the video because I want to give him some credit here. Uh, let me pull this up here. I will link this video in the description so that you guys can see this but Tyroku, uh tyraku uh he has this a similar build for dragon 25 um and mine is only going to be for dragon 20. so it does not work for dragon 25 the stats are not high enough and so this is basically his build and it's slimmed down a little bit for some worse gear i don't have as good of gear as him and um, right now it's not 100% uh, tested. However, uh, I'm on run four. I haven't failed a run yet with this. And in previous builds when I was messing around with some of the gear, um, I have I had failed by now. Or, you know, you could kind of tell watching it if it's something's going to be close or not. I haven't had any close moments yet on the runs. So this is going really well. Um, we're at the point where most of the poisons are landing, and then also we have enough resistance that most of the things are getting resisted. So it's not it's not a lot of one or the other, but we haven't had any close moments yet, and we've been succeeding. So I figured I'd put out a video on it and show you kind of the slim down build from Tyraku, um, more of the budget, the off-brand, the Walmart build to his target. So um, this is going to be basically the build for soloing Dragon 20, and that lets you bring in some food champs. This is great for like the current Fragment event where you have a Dragon tournament going on, and you also have a champ training tournament. And so that's why I put this together, so that I could be farming food and farming dragon at the same time. So let's take a look at this Yorogrim. And his overall stats here are 68,000 health, 3,000 defense, 232 speed, 194 resistance, 183 accuracy. And so the way we're getting that is through this Frenzy set, plus 10% turn meter for every 5% HP lost. So as he's getting damage done to him, his turn meter is increasing, which is able to get him to loop back around to namely his A3 and his A2 abilities. Um, and then also the other set being an immortal set, healing by 3% every turn and giving him some extra HP. So the immortal set is actually important to have because when that frenzy set goes off and increases the turn meter, he's getting 3% heals really quickly, like over and over and over. So that Immortal set is important, and um, it loops him back around to this A2, which is 40% of his max HP. So he's able to get back around to that skill. He's got the continuous heals on himself, um, and then plus the 3%, so you're getting an 18% every few turns. Um, yeah, and he's got a Speed Aura, so 20% speed in all battles, that's helping his speed get up even more. He's got chance for poison here, 50% when he's booked. So those are Yurgrim's skills. Getting into the masteries here. Um, I went with the defense and the support tree. And so I'm getting some extra defense here. Some AoE attacks negated. Uh, and then also this here, whenever you remove a debuff. The, um, sorry has a chance to remove debuff when you lose 25% of their max HP. So that helps when you get back to the dragon and you're getting towards the end of that run. Reduces the amount of damage taken from an enemy. So that helps also against the dragon. This one's just kind of uh, there to 
increased turn meter if you get crit on. We've got some accuracy here. We've got some uh, extra healing whenever you kill an enemy in the first round. Just to be uh, more healing was a little bit more important than the more accuracy here. And then I went with both of these skills that give you turn meter when you have a buff that falls off for this one and for the other one, a debuff that falls off. And the debuff one is actually, I think, better uh, because you've, you're putting out two poisons. You know, the A3, you're putting out two poisons on five enemies during the waves. So you got 10 poisons out. And then if you loop back around to that, and you can sometimes have 20 poisons out, when they're falling off, you got a third of a chance to increase your turn meter by another 10%, on top of the frenzy set increasing it by 10%. So there's just a lot of turn meter increasing, which is able why this uh, is able to work. I've got Cycle of Magic here for that small chance to get another uh, skill off a of cooldown. Got the Lore of Steel here. Um, not huge other than uh, the base stat of 15%. It could help the health coming from the Immortal set. Other than that, I might actually uh, go for Evil Eye because it can decrease the target's turn meters when you're doing the single hits to them. So it just gives you an extra edge on being able to loop uh, your skills past the enemy waves. Got lasting gifts here to give that uh, continuous heal a uh, longer duration so that you've got the healing going. And then I also have Master Hexer to give you uh, more duration on those poisons as well so that for the dragon specifically, you can have like the most amount of poisons possible on him. And that helps because we're not landing every single poison because our accuracy is a little bit low for this stage. Um, so the Master Hexer does help there. Oppressor being the tier 6 mastery increases the turn rate uh, fill rate by 2.5% for each active buff cast by this champion stacks up to 10%. I don't know if this is really the go to here. I'm not exactly sure how this one works. Like um, if it's if I cast continuous heals and I cast four of them and like I cast one it falls off. I cast another it falls off then does that go up to 10% or do they all have to be on at the exact same time? I'm not 100% sure here. So if I were to redo these masteries, um, you know, I might go with either this timely intervention to give more turn meter whenever he gets low to try to loop back to that A2 or even going with the Eagle Eye will get me to where I'm landing every single poison um, with these current stats because with these stats, I've got 183 accuracy. That 50 would put me to 230, and then I'm landing every single poison on Dragon 20. So that's the build, guys. Hopefully you guys can replicate this with um, some similar gear. A Frenzy set is not super commonly used, so that is the struggle because for a while I was just getting rid of a lot of my Frenzy gear. Um, and then I started to see... Some videos with Sky Touch Shaman and Frenzy. I saw this video with Urgrim and Frenzy. So I started saving some more of my Frenzy gear and uh, got lucky with some rolls. And now I can solo Dragon 20 with food for Dragon tournaments and champ training at the same time. So hopefully you guys can do the same. Thanks for watching. Stay average, friends, and I will see you in the next one.